YouTube, Hakushi Plus 7 here with another tutorial about PayPal. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to dispute PayPal charges from your mobile phone. And I won't be using the PayPal app, instead I'll be using the browser version. So first things first, you'd need to be logged into your PayPal account on whichever browser you use, Google Chrome, Firefox and the others. Then what you'd need to do next is to click on the menu. And then from menu, what you need to do is to click on activity. Now from activity, you'd be able to see all the purchases which have been made through your PayPal account. As you can see here, we have quite a few payments to Google and so on. So let's say we wanted to dispute this payment, Gabriel Rizzo. Um, so you simply need to tap on the payment. And as you can see, the amount which it costs in the foreign currency and my local currency then what you need to do is to simply scroll down as you can see here need help if there's a problem make sure you contact the seller through paypal by december 17 2021 so basically i'm able i'm able to get purchase protection on this purchase so let's what you need to do is to simply click on report a problem and it will load the resolution center for paypal so let's give that some time to load and as you can see here, it's asking if we've been in contact with the seller. However, well, most sellers, they post their email address in which you could contact them if you're having any issues. So that would be advised of you to do. However, if someone made a purchase, unauthorized purchase, you could simply use this method. So as you can see here, what type of issue would you like to report? I did not receive an item purchased. I received an item that's not described. Um, I want to report unauthorized activity. I have a billing issue. So you could simply select any one of these which you're having issues with. So let's say I wanted to report unauthorized activity. Now in doing this, they will ask you to change your PayPal password and and possibly the um, two-factor two authentication if you have that set up. So as you can see here, please select any transactions you don't recognize. Now it is automatically checked to the one in which you clicked on Gabriel Rizzo. And as you can see, if you choose a purchase made using crypto assets, the associated sales transaction will be also selected. Okay, that's good to know. So as you can see, Gabriel Rizzo is selected. And if you wanted to add anything else to this, you could simply select those. So let's click on continue. And then they're going to ask you to describe um, what happened. So as you can see here, describe the issue. However, I won't be doing this because this was a purchase in which I made. So for you, you'd simply need to describe the issue here and simply click on continue. And then it will notify you that you've opened a case against Gabriel Rizzo and they will, they should be able to respond within like nine days or 30 days or something like that. And if they don't, you will automatically be refunded the money. So that is how you'd be able to dispute PayPal charges on your mobile phone. Well, this is the desktop version of PayPal. However, I'm still using my phone. So let's click on cancel because we don't want to report this. This is not really an issue. I'm just demonstrating to you how to do it. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful in getting you disputing charges. However, if you sent a payment as friend or family, chances are that you will not be able to dispute that one. However, if you sent it in terms of um, for business purposes, then you might have a stronger chance of getting your money back. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this little tutorial was helpful. Hakashi Pro 7 out.